My name is Tony with Stan Stagger Media. We'll get to all that and what that means later. But uh, here we are at this uh, this beautiful location. Actually, um, I'm actually unveiling a car that you guys haven't even seen yet. I'm actually showing my my partner over here from Stan Stagger Media for the first time. This is going to be this is David. This is this is going to be his first time seeing the car. So um, yeah, this should be interesting. So here we go. You ready? All right, man. I don't know if you're ready to see what's inside there. Let's do it. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's the wrong door. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hold on. I don't know what it is. Uh... Ready? Ready? What do you think of that? That's nice. Zoom out and walk around and check it out. Well, dang, David, don't be so excited. He's so focused on video. I know. He can't even, he can't even think. He's just like, oh, I gotta make sure this video is perfect. It's like I'm on the set of Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> and honestly, I can't wait till you see it with the carbon fiber front splitter and the rear diffuser. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> you're not even getting the full effect. Hey man, we're learning. We're learning. <laughs> oh, we suck at this camera thing. Oh, I just recorded a whole clip and just didn't even remember to hit record. So I'm not to start all over. I was just about to show David, which I've actually already showed David because I was supposed to hit record. These freaking massive calipers. I mean, just look at the size of these things. These things are freaking literally straight off of an SRT8 Jeep. They are only fitting because these wheels are so big. 19 by 10s. And then the rears, the rears, in my opinion, still look good. And they're obviously for the rear. I mean, they're compared to stock, they're, they're huge. Yeah. All the carbon fiber. We love some carbon fiber. Carbon everything. If I, if I could, I'd make even my Sierra, which I haven't even seen that yet. I would put carbon everything on it if I could. <laughs> JDM it out. Fuck it. But honestly, that's the crazy thing nowadays. I mean, think about it. Even the American cars are all going. They're all going with the carbon fiber. They're not dumb. Oh, Ford Focus ST. Yeah, I mean, think about it. It's light, strong. It's actually, they say it's stronger than steel. I still don't understand that, but. Yeah, I don't get that. I wish it was as cheap as steel. Yeah. But, um. But even like the GT350R, carbon fiber wheels. Way, I, very rude. I didn't even get to show you all David's truck. Look at this freaking thing. Started from stock. Pretty much stock with a couple like just decorative things on it, like plastic dip. And look at this thing now. Six inch suspension, three inch of body lift, 20 by 12s, 35 by. 12 and a half tires. I mean, the thing is just, it makes my truck look small. And you don't want to see my truck yet. I just got a six inch body lift on mine, but this thing is freaking. And of course, David, you'll get to know him more as time goes on, but he's never satisfied. Oh, I got to go taller, need bigger. Uh. Look at this thing. Anyway, David's commandeered the Supra. Dude, I feel like this thing is just like. Just wrapping me up for a night of sweet loving. <laughs> What's that? It's just like hugging me so tight. But anyway, I'm gonna have David hop out. We're gonna get this thing warmed up. Maybe go for a ride. Oh, it's on auto now. Better. That's even better. 
don't have to worry about it anymore. see all of his freaking body features I mean you all still it's hard for you guys to see because honestly it's just so freaking wide I mean I don't know if you can tell or not it's 20 millimeters wider in the front and 50 millimeters wider in the back you got a donkey So, what I'll get into another time, but I'm gonna kind of fill you in a little bit right now, is this car took about two months to get. Two months figuring out a lot of different stuff. But it's here, it's from Minnesota. I'll go over some of the details, like I said, in another video. But um, yeah, we've been waiting for the right time to kind of debut this car. We're actually, I don't know, we're amateurs at this, so bear with us. But uh, more to come, we'll get better. And uh, I think we're about to take it for a ride. What do you think? Go for, a ride. Let's go for a ride. She's almost warmed up. You can hear her. she's she's settling in. But uh, we got to be careful. I don't want to hurt her too bad. Still on that E85 tune, different altitude here. Just trying to let her let her be safe for now until we really get her figured out, and then we'll really be able to crank on her, and beat on her. So. Say a little prayer, please. Just cause. Are you still nervous every time you take it out? Always, man. I mean, this is, I'm always, I guess I'm always just gonna be nervous. Are you getting used to the clutch? Can you tell? Still gets me when I'm a little, like, in a light and the people are around me. Dude, I can't believe we're about to drive out on the road in the Supra. <laughs>
Driving around the one mile radius. So what do you think so far, man? <laughs> Better than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> There she is, there's the motor. David's first time seeing it. What you think, David? Looks right. Yeah, it's uh the turbo is not that big. It's a it's a 67 millimeter. It's a 67 66 precision. Um what I don't know, which there's no model number that I've seen yet until I take it apart, is if it's ball bearing or journal journal bearing. Um what we actually probably do before even having to do that, I'm going to take this air cleaner off and um, just watch how the turbine spins. I honestly believe it's ball bearing, the way it spools and the way it makes, the way it sounds, it just sounds like it just stays spooling and I, I really believe once we take that off and let it run, turn it off, it, it just stay running. We'll know right away if it's ball bearing or not. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys, go. Well, this is our first video, Stan Stagger Media. Me and David about to sign out. Many more videos to come. Um, look forward to talking to you guys later. Gonna remember my name.